What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be giving you an update on all of the projects that I'm working on on my Jeep. I got some custom trim that I'm painting white, I got to fix the interior LEDs that I cracked, I got to fix some ex rust on the exhaust, and I also got a new antenna that I just put on the Jeep. So let's get started. This video is brought to you by the Playground Paintball Arena. A few videos ago I did a video about interior LEDs. And as you can see now, I don't have interior LEDs. What happened was the spot that I placed them when I folded down the seat. I'm going to show you guys right now. It ended up crushing the LED tube. And what I had to do is purchase another two LEDs for the back and I think what I'm going to do is install them under the back of the driver and passenger seat. Now that we've removed the broken LEDs, I have these two new 15 inch tubes that we're gonna install behind the driver and passenger seat. We're in the rear of the Jeep now and you can see that it's dark enough I turned the interior LEDs on these are the two I replaced earlier this morning. You can see even though they're underneath the driver and passenger seats I've, I have them facing backwards and they're glowing real good. So those are the ones in the front, these are the ones in the rear and now the rear seats can also fold without doing any damage to the interior LEDs. Okay guys, to paint the plastic trim on your Jeep, what, uh, what you're going to need to do is get a cloth to wipe off some of the dirt. I have a very fine water sandpaper and a paint that bonds to plastic. So I'm going to wipe these down and we'll get started. All right, 
Alright, I'm gonna wet sand these now. So, I got my spray bottle with my water. I got my sandpaper. And, uh, you just wanna be very gentle. And basically, I just wanna take the texture. I don't know if you guys can see that. I just wanna take the texture out of it. So, when the paint hits it, it's gonna be a, a glossy white. And, um, it's gonna match the exterior of the Jeep. Alright, now that we finished sanding these, the texture's gone, they're nice and smooth and the paint is gonna apply real easy. You're just gonna wipe this down, get all the rest of the dirt off of it, and then we're gonna prep these for paint. Alright guys, now that we've sanded these four pieces, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply the paint. I got a spray paint, uh, my color is white, and I got one that bonds to plastic and it's also a gloss so you want to make sure you shake up the can real well and you want to apply nice light even coats and what I like to do is I like to apply several coats which makes the color deeper And that'll be the first coat. So while that paint dries, I thought I'd tackle another project of this maintenance and update video. And if you guys have been following the channel, you know that I, about three weeks ago, put on these Gibson Metal Militia exhausts. And uh, one of the things that I've found, and I'm not sure if it has to do with the material they make the exhaust out of, or just the low quality of gas here in the Bahamas, um, but I've noticed some rusting. I hope you guys could see this when the camera changes. You can see that there's some rusting. I believe it's from the water that's in the gas has a high level of water and it's starting to rust the inside of the tips and what I don't want to happen is that it creates a hole and then it ends up dripping out of the bottom and just rotting away. So. What I'm going to do is I bought some stuff that will uh, allow me to paint over the rust and then I bought some high heat uh, rust resistant paint that I'll spray on the inside of these and then hopefully that will solve the problem. So I'm going to get started. Alright guys, now I've removed both of the tips, I can see inside and I can see that the rust is pretty bad, I don't know if you can see that, hopefully you can. And uh, I've purchased two products and these two products right here are what I'm going to use to fix this problem. So this is Ospo and basically what it does is it's, uh, it's going to chemically change iron to a phosphate and that's going to turn into a hard uh, black metal overnight and then I'll be able to paint it with this matte black high heat uh, rust-oleum and um, this is going to protect against any rusting in the future so I'm going to go ahead and wipe the inside of these down try to get any loose flakes off and then I'm going to brush or wipe this Ospo on it and let's leave that overnight and then I'm going to come back and paint it with this high heat uh, matte black rust-oleum so I'm going to get started Alright guys, because this stuff is um, is pretty rough apparently, I'm going to safety first, put some gloves on and then I'm going to brush it on with this paper towel and um, leave it overnight, let it harden and then we'll come back tomorrow and paint it. Woo! 
I want to sniff that shit. Alright, I'm just gonna spread this on evenly on the inside. And we'll be turning iron to phosphate. So it's Saturday today, and the big game is tomorrow. 
we put on the new antenna. We got two coats on these plastic trim. We also got the two five inch Gibson Meta Militia tips here with uh, OSPO on them. They're gonna soak or dry overnight. Then we're gonna hit them tomorrow with the high heat matte black rust -oleum. And we're gonna finish off with a third coat of the white gloss and then a clear coat on the black trim. And we're gonna throw those on in the next video. So stay tuned. I want to give a big thanks to Shaw at the Playground Paintball Arena for making this video possible. Check him out at www.paintballbahamas.com. Click on the link in the description to check out his YouTube channel. Alright guys, that concludes this video. It's getting late. I got the paint drying, the exhaust are drying. We're going to finish them up tomorrow and throw them back on. Thanks for watching. I also want to give a big shout out to everyone who's left a comment. It means so much to me and it's really encouraging me to continue and really get into these videos. Thanks a lot guys. I got a lot of cool stuff coming in the mail, so stay tuned.